Hi, welcome to Simple Scuba. In this video, we're running through how to change batteries on Sunto wrist top uh, dive computers. So things like the Viper, Zoop, Gecko, Vitec, and the Helo O2. It's a very simple operation, uh, all user changeable. We haven't got to worry about uh, doing it quickly or anything like that. It is very, very simple, and I'll just show you how simple it is and how to sort of take the straps off, things like that. So quick run through of how to change the batteries. Okay, so we've got three different type of Sunto um, puck size computers. Got a very old Viper. It's, the Viper's obviously still a current product, um, so the age of it doesn't make any difference. I've got a medium sort of age Vitec and a Helo uh, O2. So they're three different models. Um, the battery kits themselves are exactly the same, but the way you might have to take it apart varies slightly in terms of the housing. Now I'll quickly show why. Turn the Viper over, you can see you basically how you can only see part of the battery cap. Vitec, for instance, you can see all of it. So you can see the cap and get all the other bits, turn it around, things like that. And again, Hilo is covered over. So on some of them you will have to take the housing out, some you some you won't. So to take a lot of the boots off, it is a very simple brute force type of, of uh, process. Easiest thing to do is take your thumb, put it on the cap, and then just grab one of the bits at the top, and you're just pushing the strap through. It does require a bit of force, you can be quite forceful with it. It is a very flexible boot, so you can just use a bit of force just to pull it through. So it's very, very simple to take off. The only other thing you're gonna have to do is take the top portion of the strap off. You need to do this because it is holding the top of the cap on. So if you, even if you can rotate the cap, it is going to remain in place just because that strap's there. Now we have a, a tool for this. It's obviously a little grooved little tool, but because you won't have one of those, we'll use a screwdriver as well. Small flat blade screwdriver is all you need, thin as possible, and basically you're just going to put it into the grooves in the strap, between the strap and the housing itself and there's a little ridged pin in there. Just push it inwards till you can sort of get at it. Can take a few times, especially if it's stiff. And basically you're pushing the pin in, in a spring-loaded pin, same as any sort of watch strap type really. Uh, and that pushes it in so you can pull, pull the strap off. Well, it might take a little bit of practice uh, just to do that. Uh, but it's quite a simple operation. And the basis of that is ready to have the battery changed. Um, obviously, you don't have to take the housing out for this one, so you're just taking the strap off. Again, it can take a little bit of practice. Just turn that computer on by accident. And the Hilo is very similar again. you just got a, a flexible boot around it. Put your thumb in lift it up and just force through the strap until it starts to go and sort of move around until you can get at it. And there you go. Take your screwdriver and just push it in and then the strap's off. So very, very easy. And then to do the actual battery change, you need a Sunto battery kit. In the kit itself, you'll have quite a few parts, a surprising number of parts really. You'll have a new battery cap. You'll have a little retainer piece. You have the battery itself. Obviously try and avoid touching the top or the bottom, keeps it nice and clean. And you'll also have an O-ring. The O-ring will be pre-greased what you just need to do with the O-ring is just give it a slight pinch and you just pull it through your fingers and you're really just feeling for any uh, impurities or any bumps that might prevent the O-ring from sealing properly. To change it, very, very simple. The retainer ring has two arrows on, obviously a close and an open. Obviously you're going to want to open it, so you just move it round. You should just be able to do it with your fingers. If you need to, you can just pull it round with one of these pinholes. And then you just, as the lugs go into the little 
grooves, you can just lift it up very, very gently. Obviously put it aside because you're not going to want that. Gently lift up the cap. That's your cap, you're going to need that bit. That's the contact for the battery to make the circuit. And that's also your buzzer part there as well. So it's very important you keep that bit. In here, you've got the old O-ring, heavily greased O-ring, far too much grease on that one. And in here is also the battery. You can just lift it up. It's just retained in by that contact there. Last person to do this computer used far too much grease. So we'll just give that a quick wipe away. Get too much grease, get some of that grease out. So that's it, there's no time frame in order to get the battery done. You don't have like eight seconds like old computers used to have. Um, so you haven't got to worry about getting it done too quickly. First off, get your battery, slide it in under the contact. Again, trying to avoid making contact with the top or the bottom of it. Retain a plate, and it goes in one way round. O-ring. Fit it inside the compartment, like so. And then you're going to need the battery cap and the retainer. The easiest way to do it is fit the retainer over your thumb. So if you're left or right handed, obviously I'm right handed, so I'll put it over my right thumb. And you take the cap, doesn't matter which way up or rotation it is, basically you're forcing it onto the computer and you're just checking to make sure that the O-ring's not popping out. Like so. Maintaining force, swap to your thumb, take the cap, pushing down all the time. You want to rotate it so it lines up the, the grooves, switch to the cap and just push it in. And that's it, that's locked into place, nothing else to do. Make sure it's all lined up as far around as it will go. And that's it, that's the battery change. So very, very simple. Turn it over, you obviously see that the computer's on. Obviously at that point you can change the time, date and things like that, set it back up. Then it's just refitting the, the strap. Which is just a reverse of what you did previously. Line one side up. And this can be a little bit tricky. So I've lined one side up, got the pin in one side, and you're literally just pushing that pin in so it will start to fall into place. And then the tricky bit is getting it to go into the other hole. So that's in place, popped in place, give it a good tug to make sure it's okay. Fold down the boot again. Thread strap through. And that's it, that's the battery change. There's no pressure testing to do uh, because it was usually changeable, it's obviously designed to be done very easily. It literally takes a few minutes to do. The pins are the hardest bit, if, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, so very quick to do. Uh, that will last you two, three years, depending on how much you, you dive. Um, but a very simple operation to do yourself.